There it is. Okay. Um, bottom left center, bottom full, right full. Okay. Bottom left in the center, bottom full, right full. Oh, and top line. Okay. Okay. And we may have to flip that. We'll see. We can try both. Probably mirrored. Now the thing is, is it mirrored like everything's opposite or only one part's opposite? Like is it mirrored and flipped? Or is it just I guess it's just flipped, because everything else is just flipped. Okay. So in that case it would be top line. It'd be like that, except it's on the bottom right. Was it two lines or one line? I think it was two lines. Like that. Beautiful. Okay, cool. Great. All right now, let's try the other one. Hey, Gold Mom. That's mirrored. But that doesn't seem to be doing anything. Three on one side, one in the middle. Does that do something? Uh, Jensen, thank you for playing every game I have not had the time to play, but still want to enjoy. Keep it up and good vibes to you in chat. Thank you, buddy. Thank you very much. So we just tried both, and neither of them seemed to do anything. Is the timing a factor two? So this is one, three. But we already tried three, one. Let's try it again. There's 3-1. You do have to sync them? Oh my lord, dude. So I should have looked at the syncing. Oh my god, dude! With the with the little delay in hitting F, this is and then there's an animation delay too. Um, that's crazy, man. That's crazy. I don't know how you're supposed to do this. Um, Also, what's even weirder is you can change the ones on the other side of the mirror. So, do you make the puzzle solution and answer? Um... Can't do it from the other side of the table, but that was a good decision. You just smash the buttons. No, if you—that's what happens if you just hit the button. It gets funky with her hand there. How about what if we stop them all on both sides? <laughs> now they're in sync. Hey, looks good here. All right, let's go. What's the mirror of zero, right?
Okay. Okay. So the thing is, is I don't even know what this is going to do. So maybe, it, I don't know if it does something here or if it does something in the other world. Um... Like, this is a really weird puzzle. Um, maybe listen to the recorder. I can't play the recorder. That's a good suggestion, but there's like seemingly no tips for this puzzle. This is a weird one, man. This is a weird one. Is this... Okay, for the record, chat. Is this actually a puzzle? Like, does something happen? It is a puzzle. You have to sync them all, says Voidrunner. Activate all of them in the same time in both worlds. Okay. Oh, God. Chat is very torn on if this is an actual puzzle. Oh, Lord. Here we go. It's like a little Easter egg puzzle for an outfit if you do them all apparently. Oh, is it just for an outfit? If it's just for an outfit, then I don't care. They're out of sync. I know they're all out of sync. My lord. Three hours later, I know, right? I'm gonna mess with this like five more minutes, then I'm gonna keep doing the DLC because I really don't care about outfits, to be honest. Outfits are not really Okay, let's go. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I, yeah, wow. Do one at a time instead of all six at once? There's a screen shake when you sync them on both sides. If you don't see the shake, they aren't synced. You already have the new outfit. Check it out. Freely the area. There's an outfit in the real world you can find in one of the rooms of the mannequin. Oh, in the, in the real world. Okay. We'll check it out before we go. Whatever. Let's go. We'll check the we'll check the mannequins on the way out, and then I'm going to the DLC. Turn on all the lights, the desk lamps in the roulette room. In the other room, grab the clover and move it to a pot in the roulette room. Turn on Newton's cradle at the elephant. Turn on the lucky cat. Grab the fish from the stand in the corner of the room and use the launch to bring. What the hell are you talking about? Is that here? Sounds like you're playing in a casino. Where's the casino? Roulette table. What? A, get, get, my lord. Okay. Um. All right. Um. It's a different color. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Dude. A synchronous suit? Okay, that actually looks kind of cool. The rich, the rich. Oh, back in here.
Put on the new suit. Oh, I did that in here. Where where is the uh outfits? Where's it again? This game looks insane. This game's awesome, dude. This game is super cool. Oh, you have to be at the, the at Central Executive. Okay, okay. I was wondering. I was like, I could have sworn it was in there. Oh, thanks, Malik VR. Okay, cool, cool. Hey, Malik, have you played Alex yet? What do you think? Oh, dude, that's like Matrixy. Oh, hell yeah. Yo, I like it. Badass. We're doing this. We're rocking this. This is our new look. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do this real quick. Let's do a big cleanup before we go. Uh, don't need you. Don't need you. Reload speed. That's kind of cool. In here. Don't need you. Don't need you. I got a bunch of these. 10, 13, 10. So we'll get rid of the 10. The 10. Uh, we got a low level one here. A level one there. A level one there. No. I wish there was a mod bank. That'd be super handy. Alright, cool. Oh, can I make this one do more damage to armor? Yeah, here we go. We'll make this like our armor breaker weapon. Cool. Okay. Great. Thought it was awesome. People are already working on bringing Half-Life 1 and 2 into the game engine. Nice. Oh, I would love to play. Dude, Half-Life 1 and 2 in VR would be fantastic. Although it's not really designed for VR, but it'd still be cool. Um, by the way, big thank you to Julia for the new Co-Hug and Co-Sip emotes. They're amazing. I'm so excited for tomorrow. Oh my lord. Oh my god. Alright, so I think we're going... Is there anything else to say to you? What are we doing with you? Oh, here we go. Director. Jesse, you're back. Hi. So did you find anything noteworthy? The original Bureau expedition down here left so much interesting stuff behind. Like their ID cards. Oh. I picked up a weird one. It's pretty old. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, I found a few ID cards myself. Or, more accurately, the Rangers found them for me. Are you starting a collection? I'm going for the whole set. I kid, of course. But I suppose they are sort of like baseball cards, except for bureau stuff from the 60s. Hey, the one you found is different than mine. It looks like it's a higher clearance level. A rare one, then. Want to keep it, Emily? <laughs> yeah, I absolutely do. But I think you should hang on to it for now. High clearance access might come in handy. Sounds like you have something in mind. Guilty. See, I've been going through Dr. Ash's notes, or the ones I can find, anyway. Like Darling, he seemed to enjoy hiding his most relevant research. From what I gather, there is another floor beneath the warehouse with a special lab that requires five high-level staff members just to access. Here, take this. It's an old skeleton key. Something else the Rangers found. I give them five bucks for every useful trinket they bring me. I'm going to assume this key is my ticket to that lower floor. And that super secret lab you mentioned. Bingo bango, as Dr. Darling used to say. Well, keep your eyes peeled for more ID cards around the warehouse. If Ash's notes are reliable, and I'm sure they are, 
and five is the magic number. Dude, I know. I can't. I can't get over it. Like, I love this game so much, and it's so much fun. But I cannot get over those mouth movements. They're so weird. They're so weird. It's like their mouth is I I like it. It's like I I I I I Um. Oh my lord. Okay. Uh. Let's go to warehouse. See if we can go in that bottom area now. Yeah. It's like they're about to unhinge their jaw and swallow someone whole. Yeah. Really, it, I mean, they're snake. They're snake people. That's really the only thing that they're snake people. I think that's what's going on here. Aha! Boop. This ID card was for an excavation engineer. Excavator. Why did it from the layer of dust on this place? Nobody swept here in years. My son's Not favorite even song. Ati. No way he'd stand for this. There's an elevator, which I'm sure is super safe. What? In a space in each terminal for an ID card. But which card goes where? Uh, uh, are they numbered? Okay, this one has a a one on it, so I guess the eleven. I guess. Doesn't have a number on it. Oh no, they all have one on them. Well, that's not right. Maybe we have to guess by what's on the desks near them? Okay, this is like mapping and stuff. This looks to be weaponry. Do we have a security? Security key. Okay. Oh, maps for a senior cartographer. That sounds good, right? Um, digging tools, excavation, maybe. Oh, oh, little, little, little dingy things in the back. The little balls. It's the balls, it's physicist. And so I guess you would be research. It worked. Now I just have to get on a rickety elevator that goes who knows how far. Cool. Hey, Neslo, what's up, buddy? Basement lab, let's go. Let's go, boys. I'll check that out on the way up, Leroy. Still, this lab's way tight. Oh, God. Oh, I just killed myself. around here for any uh, usables or anything first. Thanks, Chad. I forgot melee. My melee isn't really developed too much. So it, it doesn't do a lot of damage. It's actually probably better for me to just like do other things like get away or something. I do want to, I think that's what we're going to trade up next to those melee.
down. I think we're good. Did you drop any loot? No. This looks like the nail, only mini. The mini nail. A document. Is this in some kind of code? You can't read a word of it. I should take this back to Emily and tell her I got into Ash's secret lab. Northmore final warning. To Dr. Theodore Ash, as director of the Federal Bureau of Control and chosen representative liaison benefactor of the greater authority of the board, I demand your immediate withdrawal from the foundation. Prior memos issued broadly to Foundation staff call for swift, swift reassignment to all personnel to the upper levels of the house. All staff comply except for you. This demonstrates a lack of respect for my office and the board itself. This is their house and we are their guests. We should conduct ourselves accordingly. Normally such insubordination would be grounds for dismissal, but out of respect for your late father, consider this instead my final warning. The board and director Ash chose me as a successor to the office and no amount of petulance will change that. Indeed, your actions seem to suggest you know better than myself and by extension better than the board. Permi permit me to assure you that is not possible. Hmm. So I wonder if Ash found something the board didn't want these guys to know about and they're exerting their control through Northmore to try to get it erased. Hmm. Alright, so... Did turning this valve back here do anything? Is there another usable item in here? Like, I wonder if that's like a secret of some kind. This thing right here. I don't think that we could have we could have interacted with the door before we did this. So I'm wondering if there's like another activatable in here we need to do. I don't see anything. Nothing's lighting up. Cave paintings, eyes and stuff. Oh, creepy. Okay. Oh, the pipes go up above? Okay. Maybe, maybe it's related to going up. Oh. It definitely looked like there was another office in there. I've already listened to this, right? Oh, that was where we were before. Okay. We can go to... I guess we have to go out and down. Skin, thank you. We just got this this morning. Let me see exactly where this thing is in relation to here. Maybe it did something on another floor. Are you using this art with RTX with DLSS on? Uh, I don't know if I have the DLSS thing on. That's this. Yeah, it drops the render of it. I don't know if this is supposed to be on. Yeah, I, I don't I don't think we want that on because it drops the render resolution. Lore in the bin by the destiny of the door. I'll check that out. Thank you. Yeah, everything's super high. The only thing that's off is uh is motion blur. Whoa! Right up in your face. Okay. Okay.
Okay, so here is the pipe. So if we're looking here, it's like that way. Let's go to the that way. But it looks like it's kind of out of the warehouse. A bit, so maybe it's something. Maybe we have to go and turn this report in to get something. Hmm. Am I using a 24-inch monitor with 1080p? I am. Yes. Hey, CLNR. What's up, buddy? Trailer shower. Oh, that's right. There was the weird thing in the trailer shower. Maybe there's something in there. Let's go check. Did I just turn on the ability to take a shower? Because that's kind of hot. cat we found here what do those even do it does it give me like like uh money bills or something it gives you a hot shower scene that was not a very hot shower scene uh by the way you know what now that my internet is working a little better i'm gonna try to pop on low latency mode and see if that does anything so i've had low latency mode off for a long time i don't know if we can even do it but we're gonna try this is happening chat See if we can do this. It's like the duck. Yeah, but what does that do? What is like what what is it just for oh it's just for an achievement. Check the other shower. The other shower didn't do anything. We tried. You need eight or nine of them to open a door for a secret. Oh. Okay. Interesting. I found Ash's secret lab. Excellent. Please tell me everything. Spare no details. Uh, well, there was another cave. The walls were covered in paintings of eyeballs. The research seemed dedicated to studying a kind of... smaller version of the nail. It looked like the same material as the one up here, but just a different shape. Well, are you sure you didn't see any functioning prototypes? Or at least some schematics. I mean, Dr. Ash was a very accomplished engineer. None. Sorry. The notes? I did find this handwritten note. Here we go. Wow. Ash had terrible handwriting. Never meet your heroes, right? That looks like a transcribed conversation between Ash and someone named F. Former. Ooh. Oh, this is juicy. This will take me days to parse out. Maybe weeks. Have you ever thought about taking a vacation, Emily? 
Are you kidding? This is my vacation, Jesse. I like her so much. She's so great. The Rangers found a section of the containment sector in the caves, but no house shifts occur down here. Strange. Hmm. How did the Hiss get into the Foundation? Same way we did, I imagine. But you need to remember that the Hiss are the embodiment of persistence. Their nature seems to be one of force, to find every possible vulnerability and exploit it. Their only goal is consumption. I'm sure there's plenty of goodies for them down here. The Nail, for instance. If the Hiss could corrupt the Nail, I'm sure they would have by now. It must not interest them in its broken state. They could be distracted by the numerous unknown paranormal materials I'm sure are lying around. These are the roots of the oldest house. The Hiss will find plenty of ways to make trouble. They're pretty good at that. Hmm. So maybe if we found a little picture, we could make this a little bit, a little bit more bearable. Let me see, let me find, let's see, let's see. Um, let's see, what would, what would work for this? We need to find a little like, uh, little tiny anything. Here, here's a little logo file. Okay, here we go. Oh, it didn't load. There it goes. Okay, ready? Here we go, here we go. So you've never heard of the Foundation, huh? I've never even seen the name referenced. It, clearly, it's highly classified, oh, okay. but for what reason? Oh. The problem with these kinds of closed-off, hidden areas is that they were likely sealed for good reason. Oh. But now, no one is left to tell us what that reason was. Any guesses why the Bureau would hide something like this? Oh. I only know what I've observed. Oh. This place is spatially rigid, which means it doesn't shift like the rest of the oldest house. Oh, okay. Before you ask why that is, I have to admit that I'm clueless. There's some signal interfering with my equipment, making it hard to get a clear reading. It's being emitted from the floor. Maybe I should have brought a jackhammer. The astral plane is already taking chunks out of this place, Emily. Let's not add to it. Okay, that, that actually helps. <laughs> so let me get this straight. The astral plane is bleeding into the foundation. Correct. And that's happening because the nail is damaged. I'd say it's a bit more than damaged, but yes, that is my understanding. So what's the connection between the nail and the astral plane? It's a good question. Okay, that's See, enough. I always pictured objects of power as strings between our plane and the astral. If the nail has a similar relationship, then maybe it's more accurate to think of it like plumbing. Now that the nail is busted, sewage is gushing everywhere. Not the prettiest metaphor. The part that, that's kind of so unfortunate about the mouse Agreed. is the astral bleed won't stop itself. everything else is good. Like their eye animation's good. The animations of their heads moving are good. It's like, I think one of the reasons that for me, the mouth sticks out so much, it's not bad. It's just a little bit distracting. It's because everything else looks so good. All the tests I run on the that it like, coming back is nonsense. it makes a you focus on it. Have already broken. You know, like it's so weird. It's so weird. Um, I kind of hope in the next DLC they kind of, they kind of work on that a little bit. Yeah.